Hello everyone, uh, just real quick before this video starts, this game just released on Steam for early access a couple days ago, and I will be giving away a Steam key for the game on this channel one week from now. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway is leave a comment, the comment can say anything, it just has to have hashtag giveaway in the comment somewhere, example on the screen right there, and yeah, I'll, I'll be using a random number generator to generate a random numbered comment, and if you win, you get a free copy of the game. Um, anyway, with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Um, but in this video, I'll be covering primarily scoring, um, how the scoring works, how to get high accuracy, then I'll be covering some common patterns and how to hit them, and then lastly, I'll be going over some settings and how you can optimize your settings to play at the highest level that you can. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is scoring. So right at the start, you'll notice that you have seven hearts at the bottom. Um, the way that you gain a heart is by getting 10 combos. So every 10 combo, uh, you gain a heart up to a maximum of 7. And every time you either hit your head on a wall or miss a hit on a drum, you lose a heart. And if you get to 0, you fail. Now, the scoring system is made out of three parts. Uh, angle, velocity, and accuracy. And to get a hit to register, I believe it's the dev set is a 90 degree window. So pretty much, if you see a drum on the bottom row, uh, make sure that your swing is somewhat in a downwards direction. If you see it on the top, it has to be somewhat in an upwards direction. And if you end up colliding with the note, with a drum properly, then it should register the hit. Um, now, again, there's another thing where if you, uh, they implemented for really fast stream sections, uh, specifically to imagine like if you have a, just your right hand just going like brr on the, the right lane, uh, down notes. You don't actually have to hit them all down. Uh, you can go down it, down up, down up really fast. Um, that's because there's currently, I think it's five or maybe four frame right now, a uh, window, um, where if you just swung down, you have these few frames to swing up and it will still register the hit. Um, now, since different headsets run at different frame rates right now, the <laughs> my laggy quest uh, has the advantage since frames if you're on like a 72 frames per second thing, five frames will be more time uh, that you're allowed to do this versus like the index which runs at double that at 144. So I believe in the next little bit they'll be implementing a change to make it more accurate on timing between all, just to make it fair between all HMDs. Um, so yeah, let's get into the scoring breakdown. Next one, next part is the velocity. Um, Dev said they're pretty lenient on velocity on the speed you need to be swinging the mallets uh, to be more friendly to newer players. So pretty much just try to swing with a certain amount of power and it should still be able, you should still be able to get 100 points uh, per hit. And if you want to know how uh, relaxed you can be on your swing velocity, I recommend checking out a uh, streamer Cup of Jasmine. Um, I was watching her play and she had really nice flow and kind of like a chill swing style and it's pretty good example of how relaxed you can be uh, on your swings and still get max points. And I'll leave a link to her Twitch down this down the description. Um, and so finally, the last few points that you, the last points that you can get are based on accuracy. So uh, you want to be hitting in the middle of the drum. Um, and I found that if you just aim to try to hit with the tip of the mallet. Uh, you don't always hit get the best score and it appears that you can hit with part of the stick so I am for I'd say maybe two-thirds up on the mallet to try to hit the center of the drum and one thing I would recommend is since accuracy is based on hitting on the center always try to uh, swing straight through the center like um, for on a left to right perspective so if I'm swinging I'm gonna try to have my now go straight through the center. Um, this is because this is for time dependence. So if I, if for example, I'm swinging at an angle and I go to hit with the center of my mallet, um, and I'm like have like a sort of diagonal swing, and I don't get the timing perfect. Well, now instead of hitting straight through the middle, since I'm on an angle, if I'm a little bit late, I'll be either. I'll be like further up on the drum, or if I'm early, I'll be a little behind, and then I won't be going straight through the center. So if you try to keep your swings parallel, then they should, the a parallel swing should hit straight through the center, even if you're a little bit early or late. So that removes the time dependence factor and should be getting you some better act. 
Um, so yeah, uh, the you've also probably noticed that you can get something showing up saying perfect if you hit a note really well for high ack, and perfect doesn't actually mean a perfect cut, it is anywhere from 95 to a maximum of 100 points for the cut. Um, and then great, I believe, is 90 to 94, and then okay is the one below. Um, but you want to always be trying to hit perfect cuts, that's how you can get the S plus ranking. Um, so next I'm going to cover the scoring letter systems. This uh, dis uh, system I'm currently going to describe is not currently implemented in the game. Uh, however, uh, since the devs currently have SS as you need literally 100% on a map to get it, they're changing it up and this system should be coming out in a couple days, hopefully. So SS is 98 to 100% on a map, um, S plus 95 up. Uh, S is 90 up, A rank will be uh, 85 up, and then it goes all the way down, I'm not sure the specific uh, ranges for the other ones, all the way down to D rank would be anything that still passes a map, um, and then F obviously is reserved for if you fail a map. Uh, now when trying to get maximum accuracy, um, accuracy works different than an, if you're familiar to the accuracy system of Beat Saber. Um, so, it, you have to uh, think about the difference between accuracy and combo. So the way the combo works in this game is, if you have a high combo, you'll see it'll say like plus 100 or plus 80 above your combo, uh, how many you've hit in a, in a row, and this is a score that's being added onto your like final score. You're getting an additional number of points, and your accuracy does not reflect that. So the accuracy percent value is the percent of all your hits on the on the drums. So if you have like 95% on your drums but you missed combo somewhere, uh, you're not going to be getting maximum combo points but it's still going to be showing you the percent that you got based on all the drums. So I found that trying to keep combo, even if you have slightly lower accuracy, you're going to end up getting a higher score if you full combo versus someone who had higher overall accuracy but missed one or two of the, of the drums. And then finally, um, so if you have a full combo, and then accuracy will accurately reflect who has the higher score if both uh, players full comboed. Now this is obviously unless you hit a wall, because walls actually give you negative points. So if you hit, a, if you combo all the notes and then hit a wall afterwards, I think you lose 100 points. So that could make a difference um, on who has the higher score. So at all costs, try to avoid hitting your head on walls. Okay, now I've covered scoring, I'm going to get into some patterns, um, how to describe uh, different things that you see in the game, and uh, some tips on how to hit them. Um, so the first one I'm going to cover is streams. So streams is anything that alternates from right to left hand, back and forth. So this can be uh, going down, up, down, up, down, up with each hand, like down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Or it can be all like bottom lane, like complex streams that move back to set, back and forth. And a way I would recommend to hitting that is a technique called backhanding. Um, which you should see an example on the screen here. And I find that helps just uh, eliminating some of the wrist resets or like arm resets that you have to do to hit all of them and it makes it flow a lot nicer. Um, next pattern was doubles. Doubles is anything where you're hitting with both arms at the same time. Um, this can be going down, up, down, up, or just all down. And a way to hit really fast doubles uh, sometimes would be vibro. <laughs> a vibro pattern is T-posing. So you stick your arms out to the side, and you kind of just go with your wrists down, up, down, up, down, up, and it can you can go really fast with that. And it'll be interesting to see since some people haven't really mapped much vibro for this game yet how if that technique is super useful in this game because it's certainly useful in Beat Saber. Um, now the final main uh, type of pattern I'm going to talk about is jumps. Jumps are anywhere where you have one hand going across the map uh, back and forth, back and forth. Um, and one way to hit really fast jumps, uh, super helpful I find, is if you stick your arms straight out uh, in front of you, and then you can go basically full wrist, just back and forth, back and forth, and it helps you go really fast on jumps. Um, and now I'm going to just quickly talk about uh, some sort of rhythmic patterns, uh, how they're commonly described in the drumming community, because I find that they're really useful for talking about a pattern. For example, if you have like a bottom lane stream map, if you want, and you want to describe a pattern. So the first rhythmic pattern would be singles. Singles is anything where you just go back and forth. So like right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. That would be a singles pattern. Uh, next one is a doubles pattern, not to be confused with the doubles I just talk about, talked about. 
um, doubles is singles, but you double each note. So it would be like right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Um, and then we have the combination of singles and doubles, which is called paradiddles. So a paradiddle is a single, then a double, and a single, then a double. So you would see this as, uh, like, with your hands, it would be right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, and going back and forth, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Um, and now, if you want to talk about more complex uh, rhythmic patterns, um, these words aren't as commonly used, even in the drumming community, but they can be super useful for getting a point, uh, describing to someone a pattern. So if you think of the word paradiddle as para being the single in the pattern and diddle being the double, uh, you can combine the words. So you have like para para diddle would be two singles and a double, so like right left right left right right, and a para diddle diddle would be a single and two doubles, so like right left right right left left. Okay, so lastly, I'm just going to go over some of the setting adjustments that I feel will help you guys get the best scores that you can on maps. Um, the most important of these adjustments is player height. Um, I find adjusting the player height to about 0.3 below uh, what it default will set it to, to for you uh, is the best height. And now I'm really tall, I'm 1.98 meters. So if you're shorter, maybe set like point, try 0 0.2, uh, 0.25 or 0.2 meters below what it currently sets you to and just kind of play around with what feels most comfortable. And this helps a lot with backhands on stream sections too. Uh, if the note if the drums are coming at you lower, it's a lot easier to hit hit them with back hands, and even not it will be less hard on your shoulders too. Uh, playing at at a lower player height. Um, next setting is the speed. So speed is in kilometers and at kilometers per hour. How fast the notes are or the drums are coming to you. Um, and if you're familiar with Beat Saber, uh, so speed divided by 3.6 equals note jump speed. So note jump speed would be five eighteenths. Um, of the speed in kilometers per hour. So just take the speed, multiply it by 5 divided by 18, and that'll get you the NJS if you're not familiar with that. And I recommend uh, playing at the probably the lowest speed possible if you want to get high accuracy. And this would be the lowest speed where you can still, uh, doesn't get too dense of the drums coming at you. Uh, so you can still see everything that's going on, but it's still at a slow enough speed that you can focus on your accuracy. And um, then finally, uh, the controller adjustments. There's currently only one uh, angle that you can adjust on. Uh, there will be more coming in the future, especially um, the devs know that uh, it can be kind of uncomfortable for index controllers. They're working on that right now. Um, but I personally prefer playing at the 40 degree adjustment. I find that lines up the mallets perfectly with my uh, controllers and it works really well for my grip. And I just recommend you find play around with your controller, find a grip that's super comfortable for you. Um, that you can play really fast at and focus on accuracy and that will get you the best scores that you can. Alright, with that all out of the way, uh, thank you guys for watching and if any of the Boombox developers or anyone on the team is watching this and there are anything, anything that I got wrong specifically in the scoring section, uh, please let me know in a comment or just DM me and I will make a pinned comment of any changes and any uh, incorrect facts uh, in on this video. Uh, and make sure you guys enter the giveaway. if. Uh, you haven't picked this game up somehow already, or you're just using the beta right now, or you know a friend that wants to play the game and find it cool, enter the giveaway. Uh, I'll be drawing, or I'll be uh, notifying the winner exactly one week from when I post this video. Um, and in the future, I might be making, I'll probably be making an advanced techniques video for how to hit really uh, fast speed patterns and certain like techie patterns. Uh, and I might even do a mapping tutorial on how to use the editor. Um, so stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already joined the Boombox Community Discord, uh, make sure you do that. Uh, we'll link the Discord invite in the description below, so make sure you guys do that. And follow the Twitch. Um, I'm currently, as of recording this, I only need to stream on one more day and get two more followers for Twitch affiliate. So when I get affiliate, I'll have a bunch of fun stuff with uh, channel points for you guys to redeem. And it'll just be a general good time playing the game over there, uh, probably a couple times a week. So yeah, uh, if you're still watching this, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.